graphing a line by first finding its slope and y-intercept. The equation of a line is given below. Find the slope and the y-intercept, then use them to graph the line. Well, the slope and the y-intercept are easiest to see when my line is in slope-intercept form. And right now, my equation is not in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. The key being the y is all by itself. It's y equals, and then everything else on the other side. Well, if you look at this equation right now, it's in standard form. I have both the x and the y on the same side of the equation and the constant on the other. So this form doesn't help me to see the slope and the y-intercept. So I need to rearrange this equation first. So I'm going to write it down over here, 6x minus 2y equals negative 4. Now, I want to get the y all by itself. I want it in y equals form. So I want the y and the equals, right, with the y all by itself on the left side over here. So I know this is going to take two steps of algebra because I need to get rid of this negative 2 that's attached directly to the y and then also this 6x out front here. So before I deal with the coefficient, the number attached directly to the y itself, I'm going to get rid of this x term over here. So since this is a positive x, I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides and simplify to eliminate it from the left over there. So I'm left with negative 2y on the left equals. Now over here, negative 4 is a constant term. There's no variable, no x or y, and negative 6 has an x. It's a variable term. They're not like terms. I can't combine them, and I just have to keep them both over here on the right. I'm going to put the x term first, because in slope-intercept form, generally we put the x term first, and then the constant term. So I've done one step of algebra. I've eliminated the 6x. I'm halfway there. Now I want to deal with getting rid of this negative 2 that's directly attached to the y itself. And right now, this is negative 2 times y. So the inverse operation is to divide by negative 2. And I'm going to divide every term on both sides of the equals by negative 2. Now over here, it's going to cancel out, and I'll be left with y, just like I wanted. The y all by itself on the left equals, and then I'm just going to simplify over here. So with my x, <coughs> I have negative 6 divided by negative 2. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So I have 3x. And again here, negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I have a positive 2 right there. So this equation, rearranged into y equals form, is y equals 3x plus 2. Um, now I can see that my slope is 3, the number attached directly in front of the x, and my y-intercept is 2. So my slope is 3, my y-intercept is 2, and now I can go ahead and graph, graph this. I'm going to start with the y-intercept. This is the place where my line is going to cross over the y-axis right here. And since that number is positive 2, I'm going to put a dot right there at positive 2 on the y-axis. Then I'm going to use my slope. Now slope is really a fraction, so if we don't have a fraction, we just take our number and put it over 1 to make it a fraction. And slope is rise over run. So from this point, from the point on the y-axis that I already have, I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, that's my rise, and then over 1. So this is my up-down change, 
and this is my left right change. Now I have two points on my grid. And once I have two points, I have enough to draw in my line. And I'm done.